want to move forward, we must respect Professor Banji Akitoye, Odua Nation Agitator says. Mr. Olayomi Kayoki has revealed in a live video broadcasted on his media page on Facebook that if the agitation for self-determination wants to move forward, there is need to respect and give honor to the leader of the I Ilana Omo Udua Association, Professor Banji Akitoye. He made this known due to several complaints made by some peoples regarding the choice of flag choosing by the agitators for the struggle. Kayoki Olayomi lamented that those complaining about the flag are seated at the comfort of their homes, downplaying the efforts of the agitators. He said that any attempt to go against the flag is a disrespect on Professor Banji Akitoye because he is the only person that has, has informed the UNPO about the movement of the Eurobars. He, however, urged everyone to respect Baba Akitoye if they really want the progress of the movement. Well, there is a say that honor is given to whom it is due. Although I do not know the position of Baba Akitoye, but I believe that he must have been one of the prominent person in Yoruba land. And uh, I think what the content of this news is saying that is a professor. And uh, I think it might be one of the leader of the Yoruba nations that need to be respected and uh, give him honor. And also maybe all these uh, agitations should come to him, agitators should come to him to deliberate on the issue. Maybe on the other hand, let him be the one that will carry them along. Although I do not know how powerful he, he is, but for what the content of this news is talking about, he must have been one of the prominent persons in Yoruba land. Again, we want to, I mean, uh, cancel all Yoruba's agitators that there must be one, there must be in unity, and they must respect one another. They must be truthful. They must have spirit of integrity and spirit of oneness. Because if there are divisions among themselves, owing to one position or the other, or to one thing or another, it may cause them to be bankrupt at the end of the day from what they are agitating for. And at the end of the day, people will begin to laugh at them that these people cannot finish what they have started. It, 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 it will become a laughing stock. So at this moment in time, all they need to do is to gather themselves the prominent men, the businessmen, the professors, the traditional rulers, all the peoples, both the rich and the poor, as far as their Yorubas, they must carry them along so that what they are fighting for will get to their hands at the end of the day. Now, on the other hand, for them not to be fighting for nothing, they should also respect this man that has been talking about although I do not know the position that this man occupied, but I believe that it, it must have been one of the key persons in Yoruba then. That is why this, uh, this, 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 this reference is given to him. And again, uh, for quite some time now, it's like the Yoruba's agitators are quiet and then it's like the, the movement is being, I mean, is being turned down. And if it is done that way, those who are expecting them to fall will begin to laugh at them that they have started something they cannot end. Because the other day, we, we, in the news, we hear that uh, some people from part of this country 
and were laughing at them that they were just playing, that they go to nowhere. So if at the end of the day, they, 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 they fail to move forward, in fact, the, the, the laughing will become a truthful one. But in order to turn those people down that they are able, there must be a unity and they must continue. Because if there is no seriousness in what they are doing, it seems that they are plain and at the end of the day, that we achieve nothing and then some people might even lose their life for example now i want to i want yoruba people to take example from the ipob look at the way ipob uh, lost their life during the civil war and even for some time now many of them have died because they are agitating so 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 they, they, they should emulate and take example from them despite that all these things are going on with the Igbos, they will not relent they keep on pushing and they keep on telling the world that this is what they want they are not compromising they are not pretending there is no hypocrite in all they are doing they mean what they are doing so the, the yorubas agitators for self-independence were expected to move forward too and i think it is time for them to get what they want but if there are divisions in the house that some persons are beginning to do one thing or the other at the end of the day they will fall and many will laugh at them now the other day we heard that uh, they, 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 they were telling the, the ipobs that if the federal government does not give them give those people what they want or if they if they go after anyone again, they will join hand to support them. That is a very good one. And so we want them to continue in that spirit, not to relent at all. Because the insecurity situation we are talking about in Nigeria, there is nothing fixed since then. Everything remains the same. I mean, is it even remain the same? No, things is getting worse than worse than when everything started. So we are moving from worst to worst that is it so in this country there is nothing to write home about nothing good so the only thing that i will advise to do is to continue in this agitation you can see the Igbo people have chosen on the 13th and 1st of may to be the day they will stay at home to to, to pay tribute to their fallen heroes you can see that these are the people that are serious and all that has passed through and nobody dare to contravene the others so yoruba people too should be serious even as these people are serious because as a matter of fact nothing to write home about in this country